Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sailor Janda, and this is my let's play of Rule of Waves 3. We've just won a pretty major victory in which we sank three British capital ships and broke their blockade of our coast. Uh, but the war carries on with both Germany and Britain continuing to do their best to occupy our overseas territories, blockade us, and generally force us to the peace table. Pretty crushing blow to the British battle line. I imagine they'd be regretting that one for a long while. Negotiated peace? Absolutely not. Total victory is on the table. 20mm automatic cannon. The Brewster Bolt is ready. We're still holding out in Venezuela. Sank the submarine U-31. Lost the destroyer Decatur. Sank the submarine E-45. So that war is just, it's going. Britain has financial difficulties. Maybe they should build less air bases. <laughs> That's a lot of air bases. Mostly in highly irrelevant places, but... Oh! Italy has entered the war on our side. I knew they had high tensions with Britain, I guess. In fact, we had deliberately gotten closer to them before the war because of it, but I didn't think they were actually going to... There is a lot of tension across the world, huh? Wow, Austria-Hungary could actually also go to war with Britain at any time. Or it could go to war with Italy. So that's a bit of a dice roll, really. Plus, Japan and Russia are on the brink of war. Hmm. Huh. Okay, well, maybe Britain will just keep a big part of its fleet in the Mediterranean, since they can't really have Italy taking Malta or blocking the Suez. Yeah, that's why the British fleet's in the Med, except it's not. It's all back in England now, but they probably should send it back to the Med, considering if Italy can blockade the Suez Canal, Britain is basically dead as an empire. All right, that's it for their East Coast force. They have a lot of ships in the Caribbean, but I'm just going to hope that we can hold out in Venezuela long enough to take Nova Scotia, because Venezuela is much less important to me than Nova Scotia, in all honesty. Uh, maybe we can... Grab this. There's really not many British forces here. They've moved all their troops out of the South Pacific right after... Um, hmm. That's to the point that I think if I just send this ship deliberately to the South Pacific, that that invasion will just, like, auto-fail within a turn or two. So, we'll just do that. Um, hmm. Okay, yeah. We're just going to hope we can hold out in the Caribbean long enough to take Nova Scotia. And maybe Italy will be a, an effective distraction if we're lucky. Oh, my money. Right. One second. Okay, money. Um... Just pause this battleship again. We'll be fine. I doubt they'll, any of them will be ready in time for the war anyway. I mean, these ones that'll be finished in about a year might make it in in time for the war, but it's not like we direly need them anyway. The British are now just... Well, okay. The tonnage includes these, which are an extra 200,000 tons to our fleet. But even without them, we're now almost even in numbers and tonnage in both battleships and battle cruisers. Um, we're a bit behind in heavy cruisers, but we're ahead in light cruisers. We're a bit behind in destroyers. I mean, it's pretty even between us and Britain. Once we get these battleships finished, we'll have a clear superiority, actually, and 
Not good. Do they actually have a CV over here? I almost hope they do, because uh, no interference. We kind of have to accept this coastal raid, although I think it's unwise, but... Um, yeah. I'm actually going to have them focus on suppressing enemy airfields, because I'm worried about their airfield here. As long as we're charging in to destroy this bombardment target directly off of Fort Bayard. Although the airfield itself is, well, yeah, it's only a 20 aircraft field, and I think we're probably pretty much out of range of the Hong Kong one. So the real problem will only be if they have a carrier somewhere here. We should probably go take care of whatever that is before we bombard this target. Hmm. It's with all the unknown ships, and why are they all so fast? I feel like these are all military vessels, considering... We're not rapidly catching them. Especially that one. Those are destroyers. That's a transport. Although there's a risk that could be a carrier or something, but it's probably just a transport. I'm more concerned about whatever this is. I'm going to try to catch it. Okay, my destroyers are not, apparently. At least we confirm those are both actually just merchants. Oh, this is just a large merchant? Oh, well. Just sink it, I guess. It was so fast, I thought it was a something else, but... Bye. All right, then. I guess we just hit the bombardment target and try to get out of here before any British air or anything shows up. Oh, there's two different. Okay, well, make sure we go for the one that's highlighted, I guess. I mean, the good news is they're literally just targets and they're not going to shoot back, but the bad news is... Bombardment targets are ridiculously, annoyingly durable for the most part in this game, so. Oh. That wasn't anywhere near as durable as I was afraid it would be. All right. I guess actual shore batteries are durable, but... This sort of thing apparently isn't. Okay. I don't think their destroyers are coming out, so let's just head back to Haiku. That was perhaps boring, but drama-free at least. No getting our battlecruisers torpedoed, which has really got to be the goal in any coastal bump. Did you just torpedo a random merchant ship, or what the hell are those even aimed at? I think they were aimed at this merchant ship that's already sunk. That's a bit embarrassing, lads. What are we shooting on now? Oh. Loser. Okay. That was a good raid. Obviously, Fort Bayard is not as important to the British as Hong Kong is, but... Still. 
were screwing up their Far East trade, which is pretty critical to their empire, so... Not as critical as India, obviously, but... Alright, everybody into port. Oh, that's good. Yeah, sank four merchants. Sank two... Sank, blew up two land targets. Dumb. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damaging the air bases helps. Constitution is fixed. Such a pity that such a fine officer's... Well, for once being well-connected, he's actually above average... Um, I can't see who's currently in charge of this division, though, I don't think. Which is annoying. You know what, though? I'll allow it. Improved welding, 5% increase of submarine reliability. Air, sea, rescue, better pilot survival, mitigates experience degradation from air losses. Well, one-time choice, huh? Yes. The lives of our pilots are important. Plus, we have a massive budget, so might as well. Bigger air bases. Oh, wow. Well, Nova Scotia might hold out for a while, but Kwang Chu Wan is already... What? Oh, for God's sake. All right. And we lost Chauncey, but we sank E-52. And they lost Palace to a mine. And... Okay, the Italians got... Their ass is kicked in the Mediterranean and have lost three destroyers, a light carrier, and a light cruiser. Okay. So the net outcome of that turn, as I understand it, is that we've successfully well, kicked Britain out of Samoa. And we will go back to the Central Pacific now. We've taken Kuang Chuam. And yet, despite possessing... Comp oh, that's why. The entire British fleet is now on our east coast. That would explain why the invasion of Nova Scotia abruptly failed. And they've taken Venezuela. Okay. We're going to need to just probably recall everything that we have in the Caribbean to the East Coast until we've driven the British off and just let the Germans do whatever the hell they want in the Caribbean. Um, in the meantime, we can make the Brits suffer for this nonsense by invading Hong Kong as well, which is, oh, we're blockaded, so I can't launch new invasions. All right, we'll figure that out. Sure, I mean, if I can chase them off of our east coast, then that'll be not a problem anymore. So. I don't know how they, I mean... What did they even win that victory in the Caribbean with? They have two destroyers here. You telling me those two destroyers sank three destroyers, a light cruiser, and a light carrier? Them and what navy? Okay. Well, yeah. We're going to have to recall all our ships to... Yeah, that's true. It might be land-based air. That's what you'd have to presume anyway, I guess. All right. So we're going to have to recall everything we've got to the East Coast. Just to try to lift this British blockade. Oh, I forgot that one of my Kentuckys is stuck in the West Coast. Oh well. Having this many ships over here is probably overkill now. I mean, it definitely is, but... On the bright side, we should be able to really easily roll over Hong Kong and Singapore and Malaya when we can launch invasions again, so... 
I'm going to leave them there for now. If it seems like we desperately need them to lift our the blockade of our coast, then I guess I'll change that. But Also, this blockade mechanism doesn't really work with the U.S. I mean, okay. Blockading our east coast would at least, yes, very badly damage our trade, but any invasion of Hong Kong would presumably be based out of our west coast, which is entirely unblockaded, so... Oh, well. I understand why it works that way, though, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Invasions do attract AI ships very... Uh, very aggressively. Well, we'll see what they do now. We have enough money to resume this battleship again. Which, I'm going to try to at least get these three finished, because they will make the difference in terms of actually having superiority over their battle line. Does that mean their whole fleet left already? I think it does. Good grief, you cowardly dogs. Excellent. Hmm. Excellent. The Hawk Party derails. Um, not right now. I can't afford it. And I... Not New Providence. Oh my god, Italy. Italy has lost the battlecruiser Napoli in exchange for one destroyer and one corvette. Italy. Don't be reenacting World War II when you're on my side. Come on, guys. There's literally no British ships there. You could at least take Malta or something if you're going to lose all your fleet. Okay, there's now almost nothing on our east coast. But there's an enormous pile of stuff in the Caribbean. However, we're not blockaded, so... Oh, actually... This first again. That will probably lure them right back, which is fine. Hi, Halfman. Um, that'll probably lure them right back to Nova Scotia, which is kind of what I want, because now that I've got my whole fleet concentrated, I would happily just fight a big battle with the British fleet. And I think that would... Well, if we won... It would prevent them from ever blockading us for the rest of the war. I, I can't accept this battle. I don't have any ships. Um, focus on that. I've been annoyed by their airfields over here, so... Okay... It's super duper night time, so that's bad. We have Rochester and Huntington. Honestly, there's two options, which are that we blunder into them at point blank range, or very possibly we just never find them at all. Because often the Battlemaker doesn't really account for night battles properly um, in terms of visibility. We'll see, though. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not going to run into them, are we? Okay. Who's over there? Battle Cruiser Division? Great. Maybe I'd better make my way over... That was an abrupt movement. Make my way over there and make sure the battle crews just don't do anything stupid in the dark. Uh, 
Also, maybe they can figure out where the hell they actually are. So, right, we can entertain ourselves throughout the night by trying to catch up to our own battle cruisers, which are. gallivanting randomly about the North Atlantic somewhere. Good grief. Yeah, we're definitely not going to make any contact with enemy forces. Oh, daylight. Oh, too late. Oh, damn. Their force was a carrier? That would have been so good if we'd run into it in the middle of the night, though. Where was it? <laughs> what the hell is this? They sailed a circle around us. I feel like this is just taunting. I can't even tell. I think they started here. Which should have been really close to us, but somehow we never made contact. Float plane. No, oh, 3,000 ton destroyers. That's alright. I literally don't really have enough stuff to... Italy. Italy, you're killing me here. Sank two British destroyers, lost a destroyer, and the battlecruiser Roma. Italy. Please. In fact, why were you even in West Africa? Why do you have a squadron in West Africa? Stay in the Mediterranean. Take Malta. Cut this supply line in half. That's all you gotta do. Hmm. Interestingly, the British fleet has not yet responded. I guess I didn't actually invade Nova Scotia yet, though. There we go. They're gonna have to, yeah. No interference. Convoy attack. They decline. They have to move back north very quickly, or we will just take Nova Scotia for free, so. Gyroscope reliability, amphibious tractors, invasion capability, heavy fighting due to enemy fortifications. Somehow we're still holding out in New Providence. What's the British fleet done? They're still down there. Also, the German fleet has left the Caribbean. Don't know why, other than that. They could not ever supply that fleet, but, um... I'm just gonna let them have New Providence if it means taking Nova Scotia. I'm just gonna stick uh, right there where we're at. And start invading Hong Kong, because at the very least we can counter whatever they take in the Caribbean by picking off their Southeast Asian territories. And Hong Kong's a big, important base for Britain. Without that... I mean, then they're dependent on Singapore, but they haven't built Singapore up in this game. It's only capacity 40. Hong Kong is 200. So they really lose their ability to operate uh, mostly in Southeast Asia without Hong Kong. Uh, I imagine Australia is having a conniption fit right now, but Britain's ignoring them as usual. You know, but a, a really hostile U.S. like I have should be offering to support Australian independence or something right now. Mm. You know what I should do with the spare money is build more destroyers. We're losing them at an annoyingly high rate.
Oh, hey, they're here. This could be a very big cruiser action. Oh, it's not going to be. It's the middle of the night again. It's... we have just Fresno and Spokane. Okay. Why is this the same battle that I just had that led to no combat? Alright. Oh, found him this time, though. Minesweeping? Yeah, it might be, actually, because... Britain hardly has any subs, but it depends heavily on uh, exactly who you're fighting. That is very close to us. Okay. Good start. I really don't want to get torpedoed, please. Oh my god, how many destroyers are there over there? One of them at least is a light cruiser. <laughs> they sure can not safely ident be identified as British. Um. Very, very concerned about getting torpedoed here, to say the least. Especially because a lot of their cruisers have deck torpedoes. However, that cruiser, whatever it is, just took a beating right there, so maybe let's turn in. The battle turn towards is just as valid as the turn away for dodging torpedoes, let's not forget. Spokane just take a big engine hit? I think she might have. Connect with that torpedo. Nope. Alright, well we tried. Honestly, she's pretty much stationary. Destroyers, you want to finish her off? I know you've magically lost all track of what she is or whether she's British, but... Probably wouldn't kill you to launch a torpedo in her direction. I think we were significantly outnumbered in this fight, honestly, so if we do come away with a win, it'll be a pretty good success. Fresno... Neither of the light cruisers is badly damaged, but they do keep taking engine hits, which is annoying because they really need their speed. There we go. That'll probably be enough to finish that one off if we hadn't managed it already. Yeah, there she goes. Oh, and here's another cripple, I think. CA? I don't think I believe you. No, that's the Kari Spurt. And she is ablaze. I refuse to go anywhere near the sides of those ships. We're going to circle around this way to try to... Never mind. 
Never mind. Is there really a carry for Might be. Okay, now we're going to come back down the sterns. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> these torpedoes in the dark, I mean, these, uh, I don't know if there's torpedoes or not, but these destroyers in the dark are giving me heart attacks, though. However, I do think that our torpedoes have been more accurate ever since we started using um, torpedo training. Whether it's worth it over gunnery training, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's working. Like, I doubt we would have made that shot, for instance, otherwise. Alright. I think that those two are both dead. Our odds of intentionally finding anything else in the dark are pretty low, so... One last little firing pass here. Also, we're very low on ammo, so yeah. We're gonna go ahead and head... Well, we're, we're literally almost a thousand nautical miles from home, but we're gonna head west. Uh, yeah, start at 1890, normal tech rate, I believe. Well, well, another victim who's probably torpedoing us. One second. Okay. Hmm. I don't think... There's no point really trying to chase them. Apparently we still can't do better than 17 knots because of that engine damage, so... Huh. Well done, the submarine S4, I guess. Forgot he was there. We're just going to bail west now. That was a very violent little spat, but I think, I think we've pretty much won. I'm guessing we sank two to three light cruisers there, plus destroyers. Hard to put an exact number on it until we get to the... That's an ocean color. Missed. All right. True. That is how submarines like it. Yeah, okay. So no permanent losses. Apparently there were three light cruisers and nine destroyers in that mess. Although some of them might have been detached, but like those maybe. It might have been three and five. But uh, sank the destroyer's land rail... Which, is this the one that, no. Um, Garland, which got finished off by the destroyer S4, I mean the submarine S4, Ruby, and how did Neared, geez, these Kariforts really are bad. Apparently Neared is a tougher ship than the Kariforts, but mag detonation. And... The light cruisers HMS Carisfort and HMS Champion. Well, both the headships of their class, too. Okay, yeah, that was... Um, British Light Forces did not appreciate that one. Thanks for watching, sailors. I hope you enjoyed. New parts will be up every other day, or you can watch live on Twitch. 
If you did enjoy, consider leaving a like or subscribing. Have a nice day, sailors. This is Sea Lord Janda, signing off.